Alright, we're going to find the volume obtained with these constraints. So our graph starting off is y is equal to e raised to the x, and then we're constrained by um, the x-axis and the y-axis. Well, y equals 0 and x equals 0, and then we're bound from, the integral is going to be 0 to 1. And we're using disks, so this is going to be set up in kind of a pi r squared fashion. So here we go. So the volume is going to be the integral from 0 to 1. So 0 to 1 is from here to here. And then um, our equation is e raised to the x. And then we're going to square this. Because that's our radius, technically. And then take it times pi. All right, so what happens next here is um, we got to integrate this. So pi times e raised to the 2x. So actually, uh, this square just ends up being 2x. And then the integral, that's just the same thing. And we go from 0 to 1. And what we end up with here is pi, actually, sorry, one half, one half, that should be one half, pi over two times e raised to the two minus e raised to the zero. Anything raised to the zero is one, so we get pi over two times e to the two minus one. And you can pretty much leave it like this. So this is the volume right here. That's it.